All right, guys, let's do a trench drain here. Um, I actually got one here on this job. Uh, so, uh, where was it? That one there. So there's the detail of it. Um, this one here is uh, actually going to be pretty easy. Um, of course, you need to find your your dimensions there. I'm just going to make up dimensions here. Um, but obviously, you know, find find whatever you need to use for, for numbers. Um, and I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it in one of these other slabs. It's not the, the one that actually goes in, but just for demonstration here, I'm just gonna throw it in here. So um, I, I'm gonna say our trench is, is you know let's say two foot wide. You know, plus I'm gonna have eight inches on each side. So there's gonna be uh, you know three foot four, and it looks like we're gonna be eight inches there. Eight. Let's just say we're we're gonna be 16 inches total say we got a six inch slab there maybe you get two inches possibly whatever it is um so we'll just go back to that page here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the thicken the concrete uh part here and let's just say it's in that one there so the width of the base was going to be three foot four so we'll do that uh, total thickness we said 16 um, number of slope sides, uh, we had, we're going to have two because we got one on each side. Um, uh, the rise and the run, um, I didn't pay attention to that. It looked like it might have been uh, two to one possibly. Um, but we can come back and change that. <clears throat> and, you know, of course we can, uh, you know, name it whatever we want there. Um, you, you could type in, you know, a trench drain, you know, what, whatever you need there. So, and with these, I'm always going to do the center. Um, and unless it's a straight line, this one's an L shape. That's why I'm going to do the center. If it was just a straight line, I, I would probably just do the left. Um, so we'll hit OK, and obviously the uh, the dashed line is is the uh, the I guess what I what I would consider the the footing area. So we'll go all the way out to that. So let's say that is that is that there. Um, yeah, yeah, it was two to one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now it's just a matter of throwing the extra bars in that we need. Um, number five's at 12. So looks like we're going to have three, four. Let's say we got five, six, seven. Let's say we got seven extras. We got two on each side, three on the bottom. So in that case, we'll just go here. Oops. I meant to go there. And we'll just take some continuous bars, throw them in. And we got number fives, we got seven of them. And then we got uh, number five. Um, I, I got the, these thickened slab bars. That's exactly what these are. Um, so we're going to have, what, one six um, on each side. We're going to have two foot four along the bottom because we got two foot there. Plus we need to get two inches of cover. Um, so now we just need to figure out the height there. Um, let's see, we're going to be three, four, five, sixteen minus eleven. So we'll just drop those in. We got number fives at twelve. So just put in your appropriate dimensions there. Um, this one here was eleven. That would have been two foot four. Like two, like one, those are going to be right. Um, and again, they were number fives. And again, you can change the name. So if we go down and look here, <coughs> there's those bars. Um, there's our continuous bars. Um, you're also going to need um, some forming uh, in, inside of there, obviously. Let, let's just say we got, uh, say we need some two by eights there. So we'll go back to here. And, you know, with, within this, uh, the, the same slab, let's just throw, let's just grab another edge form part here, because I've already redone that one to make it plywood forms, but let's just say we need some uh, eight inch edge forms. So, again, the solid line will be the actual drain there. So we're going to be forming up this part of it. I guess that went all the way out. I should have had some more footing out here, but regardless, you get the point. So there's that. 
So there's our edge forms for forming up inside of there to get our, our sides done, obviously. And we need some angle iron there, uh, basically all around them edge forms. So what I'm going to do is we'll go back to the miscellaneous. Got an angle iron part here. Uh, the angle iron part only has labor for installation. Um, uh, myself, I, I just, I, I never include it. Um, you know, if, if you need a material part made for it, you can make one. If, if you need me to make you one, just let me know. Um, but what I'm going to do is take this, drop it inside them edge forms. Well, I'm not going to do it on this page because it's going to want me to scale it. So I'll go back here, drop it in the edge forms. It's, it's going to pick up exactly what, uh, however many linear foot of, uh, of edge forms you got. And there you go. So I guess we could add little bit we needed there but <clears throat> so there it is there is that one and that's a pretty simple one obviously um, but uh, you know this is certainly an assembly you you could take um, you could come here take this you could copy it rename it um, you know trench drain and you, you could throw you know some continuous bars already in there you know um, I mean generally you're gonna have you know at least two or three anyhow um, you know, you're not always going to have these bars, uh, possibly, but, uh, you know, you could throw in an edge forming part in, in that edge forming part could go inside of there too. It, you know, if you wanted it to, uh, if you wanted to keep everything together, um, I threw the angle iron in the edge forming because that way I didn't have to digitize it. It would just pick up however many feet I digitized there. Um, so, um, it's kind of an easy way to do it. Um, but like I say, you could go ahead and make your, make yourself your own assembly. Um, Again, I'm sure I've explained to you guys, you know, why I don't have, uh, you know, all these very specific ones. Um, when, when I go to update stuff, instead of updating, you know, all these different assemblies, I can just update this part here, and all the stuff you guys have made off of it, you know, you, you can update a lot quicker than, than me updating, you know, 10, 15, 20, whatever, however many parts you could possibly make off of it. Um, but really, it's just a matter of, you know, you taking this, this picks up the concrete, is what it did. Um, obviously the linear is how, how our bars are, are calculated. There's our edge forming. Um, you know, there's the, uh, angle iron installation. And if you look at it, I mean, really all we were trying to do is, is pick up this extra concrete. Um, unless I get a really big trench drain that's, you know, like this one here, I think it was like two foot wide, eight inches deep. I didn't take the concrete out of there. Um, it, you know, and I know there's. Well, there's 95 feet of forming, so there's, uh, you know, half of that, 47, you know, feet of, of trench drain or whatever. Um, you know, and I, I know that concrete adds up quick, but to me, with, with just that little bit of amount, I'm going to leave that extra concrete there to possibly fill in these edges if I overdig them or something like that, or, or you know, say I get an inch deep here. So, um, you know, you, you could deduct that concrete if you wanted to, but I, I just don't do it, so... You know, like I say, unless it's a really big, um, you know, for instance, I, I did like a four foot wide trench drain not too long ago. And I, and I did take the concrete out of that because it was four foot wide and a foot deep. So, um, but yeah, it's just a matter of putting the parts in there that you need. Um, you know, just like most of the assemblies, just grabbing the, the rebar parts, the forming, you know, whatever it is you need um, and throw them in, throwing them in there. And obviously, you know, there's there's more rebar parts that, that could be, uh, you know, thrown in there. Uh, you know, maybe if you don't have these, these bars here, if you didn't have them, maybe you just have the, the three number fives with a, a transverse bar, you know, and obviously just, you know, go up to your uh, reinforcing there and, and grab your transverse bar there. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's how I do the trench drains. Um, <clears throat> if you got any questions, just let me know.